Okay. Wow, that thing is in my face. Whew. Hey guys, that's in my face. Like all this. Wow, bro, I'm gonna be blind. Okay, we're gonna get this right. Cause man, yeah, I'm sweating, bro. Woo, these cameras. All right, these cameras, these lights. Okay, here we go, guys. Blue Yeti microphones are highly advertised as USB microphones for your desktop or laptop setup. However, did you know that you can actually connect your Blue Yeti microphone directly to a DSLR or mirrorless camera? In this video, I'll show you how. Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Aaron Sixon. And in today's video, we're going to be setting up the Blue Yeti Nano microphone to a DSLR or mirrorless camera. And uh, for this demonstration, we're going to be using the Canon EOS M50. If you have any model from the Blue Yeti series and a DSLR or mirrorless camera, this setup should work for you. The reason why I wanted to make this video is to shed some light regarding the Blue Yeti microphone with a camera. Now, the Blue Yeti microphones are probably one of the best microphones out there. Um, most people, or usually most people do, they actually uh, record their audio with the Blue Yeti microphone separately from their uh, video footage. Uh, they will try to sync up their audio and their video later on during posts, but not many people have realized that you can actually connect the Blue Yeti microphone to the camera and record the audio and video all within the same file. The first thing we need to do is to have our supplies ready, which includes the following. Blue Yeti microphone, a DSLR or mirrorless camera, a laptop or computer as a USB power source, and an auxiliary audio cable 3.5 millimeter. The next thing we need to do is to connect the Blue Yeti microphone to the computer. Then connect the auxiliary audio cable from the Blue Yeti's headphone output to the camera's external microphone port. Go to your sound recording settings and set it to manual. For this example, you will need to go to sound recording and set the Canon EOS M50 to manual. Now, if you try to speak to the Blue Yeti microphone, you will notice your sound levels will be displayed and this is good, but we want to make sure our sound does not clip or get distorted. So we need to adjust the sound recording level until we find a sweet spot. For this camera, you want to make sure you have your dB levels a little bit below or right at negative 12 dB. Most of this video is a test footage of the Blue Yeti microphone connected to a camera, which is the Canon EOS M50 that I'm using for this demonstration. And remember, you're going to have some trial and error when it comes to the right settings for you. Once you have your settings down, write it down or take a picture of your configurations because every environmental setting is different. Let me know in the comments section down below about what you think about this setup. I had a Rode Video Mic Go microphone and I wanted to produce better sound quality when it comes to these types of videos. Now, the video might go had uh, some hissing sound, which is a known issue, and it took a little bit of finesse to actually fix that problem. But with this Blue Yeti Nano microphone connected to the, uh, my Canon EOS M50, I'll have the opportunity to produce better audio tracks than before. Thanks for watching. Before we end the video, check out these other videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to see more videos like this one. And I'll see you all in the next one.